Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your final English lesson for this week. OK, so today um, our learning objective is to edit my writing. So I want you to pause the video and write today's date and learning objective and underline these. OK, brilliant. So today, um, to be successful at, at editing our writing, we're going to start by rereading our writing to check it makes sense. We're going to be thinking about we're correcting some spelling mistakes. We're going to look for missing punctuation and we're going to try and improve um, some vocabulary and sentence structure. So editing our writing is a really important step um, of, our, of our writing process. So we've We've thought about the text that we've been writing, our ant story. We've had a, had a go at writing our ant story now. So now we're on the editing part and the polishing part. So um, editing our writing, it's about improving our writing and um, making it as, as well written as it possibly can be. So we're going to have a little practice together to start us off. So thinking about our ant story, um, we're going to read a sentence from our ant story and we're going to see if we can spot some of the mistakes in there. So I'm going to read this sentence to you um, and then we'll have a look for those. So the first sentence here is deep in Central America, the yellowing grassland swayed as the burning sun sat high the midday sky. I want you to pause the video and have a look at this sentence and see if you can spot any mistakes that have been made. OK, so let's see what we've found here. So first of all, we know that. Proper nouns like names of places and people need capital letters. So if you look at the start here where we've got deep in Central America, Central America is the place here. So America needs a capital letter there. So that's our first mistake that we need to correct. So um, if you've got a purple polishing pen, um, use that. If not, you can use your pencil or another colour pen is absolutely fine. So on America, I know now that I need to correct America. So I'm going to take off that lowercase a and I'm going to put a capital letter in there. OK, and there is one more mistake in this sentence. Did you spot it? If you read it, this sentence aloud, you may have heard it. So deep in Central America, the yellowing grassland swayed as the burning sun sat high the midday sky. There's a word missing. Did you spot it? That's right. It should be high in the midday sky. So that prepositional phrase is missing high in. Oh, we don't need to be capital letters in the midday sky. So now our sentence makes sense. Let's have a little go at another sentence. So I wonder if we can spot any mistakes in this sentence here. So I'm going to read the sentence to you again and then I want you to pause the video after to see if you can spot any mistakes. So long shadows from tall jutting plants fell across a dusty path that sneaked its way through the plains. OK, I want you to pause the video and see if you can spot any mistakes in this power in this sentence. <coughs> OK, so this one was a bit trickier, but it was a spelling mistake this time, a spelling mistake. So that's a clue there just in case you didn't spot it. It's a spelling mistake and it's a homophone. So a homophone is a word that's words that sound the same that are spelt differently. Can you spot it? That's right. It's the word. Planes, the word planes. So here I've written, I've spelt the word planes and that's spelt like an aeroplane, but we're not talking about an aeroplane in this sentence. We're talking about um, the planes um, across the field. So it should be spelt differently. It should be spelt like this. So we've spotted our spelling mistake in this sentence. You can use um, a dictionary if you've got a dictionary to help you to spot those, to help you correct those spelling mistakes. OK, so we're going to try one more together. Let's look at the next sentence. So we're going to read this sentence and see if you can spot a mistake. So I'll read it to you. Hurrying along the path, 
busy insects scuttled back to complete their daily chores whilst two beady eyes peered out from behind the bushes. OK, so I want you to think about if you can spot a mistake in this sentence. Have we got all the spellings correctly or have we got all the punctuation there that needs to be in this sentence? Pause the video now while you have a think. <coughs> OK, did you spot it? That's right, it's a punctuation mistake this time. So we've got here, we've started the sentence. It's a fronted adverbial hurrying along the path. Busy insects scuttled back to complete their daily chores whilst two beady eyes peered out from behind the bushes. So after our fronted adverbial, we need a comma. So our fronted adverbial is hurrying along the path. So after the word path, we should have a comma there. OK, so now we've corrected the mistakes in our sentences. So I'm going to take the paragraph <clears throat> that we wrote yesterday and we're going to think about how we can edit this paragraph and improve this paragraph paragraph. So um, the first thing for you to do would be a great idea to read read this aloud. So I'm going to read it and if you want to read it with me, you can. If you want to read it after, you can. So as the Queen Ant had cleverly anticipated, the giant ant ball began to roll closer towards the sucking giant. Faster and faster it rolled until the sphere had blocked the giant's mighty mouth. Toppling onto the dusty floor, the enormous creature passed out on the ground. OK, so <clears throat> let's think about how this can be improved. So I'm thinking about this word here, giant. OK, so the giant ant ball. I wonder if there's another way that we could describe the ant ball. Um, there's probably lots of words that we could use to describe the size of the ant ball. So perhaps instead of giant, I might use the word enormous. OK, I might use the word enormous ant ball began to roll closer. Um, and perhaps here the words began to roll closer. These words here. I wonder if I might change those words. OK, so I'm going to rewrite some of this um, to, to really improve it. So that's what you might want to do with your paragraph today is to actually take some sentences and rewrite them to improve them. So I wonder instead of roll closer, I might write something like um, it began to uh, another word for roll so what about sweep sweep across so now that sentence i'm going to read it out to check it makes sense i'll read it aloud so as the queen ant had cleverly anticipated the enormous ant ball began to sweep across the dusty ground towards the sucking giant so I've added in here, sweep across the dusty ground, a prepositional phrase there, across the dusty ground. OK, so I wonder now if we look at the second sentence here and see if there's any way that we could edit and improve this sentence. So faster and faster it rolled until the sphere had blocked the giant's mighty mouth. OK, so faster and faster. Um, I wonder if I change again the word it rolled so perhaps instead of let's have a look instead of it rolled how could i improve that what about faster and faster um faster and faster the what about another word for roll tumbling perhaps um faster and faster the sphere. Oh, I did that in purple so it's really clear what changes I've made. The sphere tumbling. Oh, the sphere had blocked the giant's mighty mouth. OK, so faster and faster, the sphere of tumbling ants rolled until. So here we've got the word sphere again, so we probably don't want to repeat that. So we can take that out. 
giants, mighty. And I had another word in there as well. I'm going to add in menacing. Uh, comma after mighty there. So let's just read that to check. We think it makes sense again. So our second sentence was faster and faster. The sphere of tumbling ants rolled until it blocked the giant's mighty menacing mouth. <clears throat> OK, great. So the final sentence here, toppling onto the dusty floor. The enormous creature passed out on the ground, so I wonder how what we could change here. So I wonder if we could change the um, fronted adverbial that we put in. So we've got toppling onto the dusty floor. So I wonder if I could use a different word to toppling. What about? Um, I quite liked the word plummeting so I'm going to change that here plummeting. okay plummeting in exhaustion maybe plummeting in exhaustion onto the dusty floor the enormous creature okay i wonder if we can change past out on the ground i wonder what about if we change that to the enormous creature um lifeless and okay so when you've edited your work. It's always a good idea. I'm going to just make it a bit smaller so we can see all our writing on one screen. So you can see the bits I've changed now in purple and we read it back through to check it makes sense. So as the as the queen ant had cleverly anticipated, the enormous ant ball began to sweep across the dusty ground towards the sucking giant. Faster and faster, the sphere of tumbling ants rolled until it blocked the giant's mighty menacing mouth, plummeting in exhaustion onto the dusty floor. The enormous creature lay lifeless and still. OK, so we, we've changed quite a lot of our, our paragraph there, and that's what you do when you're editing. You play around with the words and you change things to um, improve it and make it a bit different to how you previously wrote it. So now it's your turn. So I want you to remember these things to reread your writing. So read all all of the different plot points that you've written now. So read Read all of your writing to check it makes sense and spend some time looking at spe correcting spelling mistakes and looking for missing punctuation. And then think about then improving vocabulary and sentence structure. So you might want to take maybe one paragraph that you've written and really have a go at, at improving that paragraph or change it around. Think about your complex sentences. Can you add some in? Can you change um, the vocabulary to make better noun phrases? Change the sentence structure, perhaps start with your um, subordinating clauses instead of um, having those at the end of your sentence. So have a go at editing your writing and then if you want to you can have a go at publishing your ant story by writing it up in best or you can type it up if you have a computer that's um, available to you and then um, we can read your completed story um, i look forward to reading them um, and um, good luck with your editing I, I i know you're great at this in class so um really show us how you can improve that that piece of writing well done year four